Welcome to pageant drama TikTok. Miss USA 2022 was crowned two nights ago on Monday night. I competed, I didn't win, Miss Texas won. The drama all started when one of the huge major sponsors posted a video almost immediately after this girl won, showing her at their resort having this luxury vacation, which is supposed to be part of the Miss USA prize package. There's no way that she was already flown out there and is having all of these treatments. So it's pretty clear that this video was pre-recorded and she was flown out there about nine weeks ago for this experience. The receipts for that were posted in my last video, but this one is going to expose even more tea on the Miss USA organization. First, I want to make it clear, Texas wasn't on the 50 contestant trip to Cancun with us because she wasn't crowned yet. She and Colorado both weren't at the contestant retreat back in June, but Colorado didn't get an, a special trip to Nizuk. Texas did though. Ever since Texas was crowned a couple months ago, she has been shown favoritism by the Miss USA organization through their businesses that are also all owned by the same woman who owns Miss USA, who owns the Miss Academy, who owns the Miss brand, which are all very closely knit. Here's a screenshot from an Instagram story showing the new Miss USA winner and the owner of the Miss USA organization doing her hair. It's not clear when this photo was taken, if it was before or after competition, but I can tell you this is the room where all the contestants were getting their hair and makeup done before the competition. And here's a screenshot from the pageant. This is the pageant owner, Crystal Stewart, with one of the major sponsors. Again, this is the sponsor, Pageant Doc, who owns the med spa. Who reposted Texas all during Miss USA week. He only reposted her stuff on his Instagram. A sponsor is promoting one of the contestants before she even won. And another one. Here's her swimsuit walk posted by him. To be clear, he does also sponsor the Miss Texas USA pageant, but I think that gets a little weird that there's a sponsor nationally, and they only also sponsor one state pageant out of 51, including all 50 states in D.C. I'm going to be going live on Instagram later, so make sure to follow me there, too. And I'm going to be doing like a Q&A where you all can ask me your questions, and I'm just going to answer them live. So follow me there and follow me here, too, for part three, four, five, however many we need. Let's start with what most pageant winning reaction videos look like. Soft, happy, singing. Nebraska, you are the winner of Miss Teen USA 2022. Next contestant will take their place. In second place, North Carolina. I love how the icon in Miss USA is most hated than the new one. I want to make it clear we are not trying to bully Arbany, and please do not send her any hate. Don't harass her, none of that. I fully support Arbany because if I were in her position and I was the favorite, I don't know what I would do either. I can't blame her. I probably would do the same thing and accept the favoritism. We really can't blame this girl. And it's really sad because her performance was amazing and she probably could have won fair and square. But the issue is the organization seems to allegedly have set her up for this win because it fit the organization's agenda. And that's the issue. The issue is not with Miss Texas Arbany winning. The issue is with the alleged corruption of the Miss USA organization. Was Miss USA rigged? I don't know. I'll let you be the judge of that. Here are the facts. Miss Texas USA was allegedly flown to and from Cancun mid-July via the Miss USA sponsored airline United. She was the only contestant to receive this special kind of treatment and receive a solo trip to Cancun. Mia Beauty is the med spa in Cancun at Nizuk Resort and Spa, while Mia Plastic Surgery is the Houston-based med spa. Both are affiliated with one another, um, but they are different, and they are both sponsors of Miss Texas and Miss USA. Miss Texas has been a client at the Houston location since early 2021. We have these receipts here. I mean, they're all over the internet. We have the screenshots. We have the receipts. Um, Mia Plastic Surgery, Miss Academy, and the Miss brand have been partners for over the last year and a half. There are rewards and sponsors for more than $10,000 worth of services from Mia Plastic Surgery included in the Miss Texas prize package every year. 
However, that price package does not include a private trip to Cancun, and last year's Miss Texas USA did not get the same kind of treatment, and nor did any of the other Miss USA contestants this year. Last but not least, one of the surgeons, actually the main guy at this place, was a judge for the Miss USA costume contest. Here he is. Here are the receipts. We have them all. <laughs> 